Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. As some of you will know, I am planning to ride from Land's End to John O'Groats. So you want to know, you've seen which bike is Julian Taker. I haven't made a decision on that. You've seen uh, which shoes is Julian Taker. I haven't made a decision on that. Actually, I have kind of made a decision on that. You've seen which tyres should I take if I made a decision on that, more or less. But you haven't seen what am I taking in the way of snacks. So today's video, yes, is let's look into Julian's bag of tricky snacks. Now, I'm not necessarily taking all of these snacks. I may, in fact, not take any of these snacks because one of the things about cycling from Land's End to John O'Groats, of course, is you're in Britain, well, obviously, uh, and there are things called shops and you can stop at shops and you can buy snacks. Well, can you buy cycle specific snacks? Well, that begs the question, do you need cycle specific snacks? And that brings me to the first snack in Julian's bag and it is Haribo Tang Fastics. Now you can get uh, jelly babies or you could have jelly beans or you could have fruit pastels, wine gums, that kind of thing. The thing I like about the Tang Fastics is they, they've got that tanginess, they've got that sharpness, they've got that bite on the tongue. Do you remember that um, it was, a, it was a kind of fairy dust snapping kind of powder that used to be uh, used to be used to enhance the sexual act or so I'm told. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it anymore. Anyway, there is that kind, kind of slight tingly sensation. I'm talking about on the tongue. I'm not talking about other places of your anatomy, Nigel, that you may have chosen to put that popping stuff. Anyway, a bag of tang fastic. Should I take them? I don't know. You tell me. A gel. This is a gel by Velo Forte, and this is a Doppio Maple Coffee and Guarana. Uh, how you get one of those big Canadian maple trees into this little plastic packet, I could never quite understand. But then I could never understand how they got those ships in the bottle and still managed to sail them. And it says here, an energy-rich nectar delivering nature's power at pace. I quite like these, actually. It's a, um, it's a shot even be two shots of caffeine like taking a couple of espressos and they're rather tasty so i'll be taking a few of them this is uh i went for a minor goodwood motor circuit on sunday and uh i think at a shop on saturday or somewhere i saw these reduced deli by shell all butter flapjacks and this was reduced from i didn't say what it's reduced from but it was reduced to 49p now that may be because it's expired oh it expires on the 31st of july 2021 so i may not take that i may just eat it now a, another gel and this is by kendall mint company you know the the kendall mint cakes i have some kendall mint cake in here somewhere and this is like sort of liquid uh kendall mint cake in the form of a gel and i rather like this because it's got that minty sharpness that tanginess you're developing a pattern here you see that julian likes that tanginess on his tongue uh, rather partial to them quite like them um this is another velo forte and they do these different energy bars different flavors some of their combinations of flavors are a little bit off the scale this is dates pecans and sea salt and this is dates, almonds, and cocoa. Now, one of these I've had before, I may have one in here. Is it this one? Lemon, ginger, and pistachios. Some of these I find very tasty. Some of them, I had one a couple of weeks ago. It tasted just like a turd. And it was kind of, it was really dense and, and really heavy in a kind of dark brown uh, shape. So, I mean, if you produced something rectangular as opposed to... Um, uh, what's 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 the word cone like um it would look a bit like this particular gel tasted a little bit nicer but not that much but then i had another one which i think was in an orange packaging which had a kind of citrusy perhaps an orange a bit of a tang in that one and i thought it was rather tasty so i'll take a couple of these uh but they are quite dense they are quite heavy this is a uh, Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard bar, when he gave up singing, uh, moved into the snack business. And why would you not? And this is a crunchy peanut butter. I was rather partial to these, although I've had this now for uh, a while. It expires 9th of July 2021, which was a couple of weeks ago. But I mean, these kind of... 
these snacks, I mean, they're so full of sugar and, and other kind of vegan friendly items that they're, they're kind of last forever. They found some of these. Um, you remember the story of Phidippides? Um, this was the Battle of Marathon and he ran back from the Battle of Marathon to Athens to announce the good news that they had defeated uh, whoever it was. And it happened to be a distance of 26 miles and a little bit, which is why uh, the marathon is the distance that it is and why it's called what it is. The only trouble with Pheidippides, and this is a, a little known part of the story, is that he was so knackered when he got back to Athens that he arrived there and he said, oh, oh, and they said, what is it, Phidippides? What are you trying to tell us? And he said, oh, oh, oh. and then he collapsed and died. So they never actually found out what it was that Phidippides wanted to say, which is that they'd won the battle. But still, he gave his name to a running race. And the man who invented the 100 metres race, whose name, funnily enough, was 100 metres. That was a different story, maybe for another video. Anyway, that's the Cliff, Cliff Richard bar uh, in turn crunchy peanut butter. This is also made by Kendall Mint Cake, although curiously enough, this doesn't have any mint in it. And this is a nat natural NRG, which I think probably means energy in the way that all these companies now remove the vowels uh, from their name. So I suppose continuing that, the next time uh, the, the orange-faced former president runs to be the next former president, I suppose he'll call himself Trump. Trump. How would that be? And then the, the one who's there at the moment would have to be Budden, Budden, Budden. So it'll be J Budden against D Trump. Anyway, that's a natural energy, wholesome superfood bar. I'm not quite sure what's super about it. It's 5.6 Gs of protein, which might mean something to you. It says a source of fiber that'll keep you regular so you'll be able to produce some of these Velo Forte bars at the other end of your anatomy. And it's vegetarian, so there is no meat products in this. There are an awful lot of other products in it which I haven't got time to go through now. So I may, I'll made i take a couple of those because they actually take quite, they taste quite nice. What they do for you, I'm not sure. Here's another one of those uh, reduced full butter flapjacks. High five, zero sugar, zero cal uh, berry flavour. These are, uh, you know, these kind of tablet things that you put into your water bottle. I'm rather partial to these, although I can't entirely say why. I suppose I don't really like uh, like drinking water. You know what W. S. Fields used to say about water? He said, don't drink water, fish fucking it. What he would have said about uh, a drinks bottle full of a couple of tablets of high five zero tablets, who knows? Not sure W. C. Fields was much of a cyclist, but I could be could be wrong. Here is another um, item from the Kendall Mint Company and you may be detecting a pattern here which is that I made a kind of bulk order of stuff and this is a Kendall Mint Cake energy bar which means it's just Kendall Mint Cake fortified by electrolytes although I don't know what electrolytes are. I know you're supposed to have them but I've never been able to get my head around what exactly they do. Um, I did try these. It's, it's very heavily sugared, as you can imagine, very heavily minted, minty sugared taste. And it's quite large, so you fits in your pocket. And it's only just. There's another Doppio gel there. Uh, here's another Velo Forte Reba gel, and this is blackcurrant and elderflower. Um, sometimes I prefer a younger flower, and sometimes I prefer an older flower, yes. Uh, how do you like your men? Or how do you like your women? Uh, older or, uh, well, anyway. Who knows where that particular story is going? Let's, uh, let's stop it just there, shall we? And this says an energy rich nectar delivering nature's power at pace. Real fruit electrophytes. And this is quite tasty. This is like a, a kind of a gloopy, jelly, sloppy kind of Ribena-ish taste. So that's rather, Tasty. The, very, the other things you've seen here, some more high five tablets. This is an actual Kendall mint cake, uh, which I bought a couple of years ago. And I don't know if you can tell that when it was in my pocket in the hot weather, it kind of melted and then it hardened. So it's all kind of mis misshapen. Do, do you see that? And I don't think this has got... Oh, it's got best before April... 19 
Um, I think that's probably April 2019. But again, these things, they're so full of sugar. I mean, they found these on the Titanic. It's one of the reasons the Titanic sank, incidentally. It was carrying 400,000 tonnes of Kendall mint cake uh, to the New World, or, or what we now call the United States of America. And because they, they hit a, um, was it an iceberg? Yeah, they hit an iceberg. And the weight of the Kendall mint cake dragged the Titanic down to the ocean. So when James Cameron made that great film of the same name, Kendall mint cake, starring um, Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio, that was it. Uh, one of the things they dredged up at the same time as they dredged up the Titanic was a whole load of Kendall mint cake. And it was still perfectly edible because it was so well preserved because fish, again, you may not know this, fish do not eat sugar very bad for them so if you have a goldfish uh or any other kind of fish um i, I can't think of any fish offhand perch that's a fish isn't it a pike that's a fish a tuna salmon yeah it's all coming back to me don't give them sugar because they don't like it these are um or this was if you can see a packet of dextrose energy tablets which has been in my bag for quite some time. So they're getting a little bit, little bit gray around the edges. But again, you know, what, what the hell? It's all sugar, get it down you. No, you know, harm will come to you. Don't take nutrition advice from Julian, by the way. This is uh, Trek. Don't think it's the bicycle company. I think it's a different Trek. And this is a protein flapjack, cocoa and oat. Now, I'm rather partial to these, but not really while I'm riding the bike because they've got a thin layer of kind of darkish flavoured chocolate cover. I say it's, it's chocolate, it's darkish. I say it's kind of flavoured chocolate because I'm not entirely convinced it's chocolate. It probably is. Um, and that tends to get a uh, melt. Oh, big pod. Oh. oh, I'm going to sneeze. I've never seen a YouTuber sneeze actually on camera. So I suppose if you slow that down, you may be able to see those droplets flying out of my, flying out of my nose uh, like that. Uh, do, do normal YouTubers, I say normal YouTubers, do other YouTubers uh, cut that out of their videos? Or because I've never seen a sneeze, never seen a live sneeze on a YouTube video. Well, you've been one of the first to encounter that. And this is a 9G protein, which may be, may be a lot, may not be a lot. Um, which I, I, I find these are rather tasty, but I tend to like them after uh, I've been for a ride or before I go out for a ride or just when I like something to chew on in the evenings. This is another, a small tube of zero tablets, high five zero tablets. This is another tube. This is another Kendall mint cake gel of a lot of these. This is another Velo Forte Doppio caffeine gel which i haven't eaten yet obviously i haven't eaten any of this stuff yet and here is another kendall mint cake bar so if you would like to leave a comment down below and say julian this is what we should think you should take on your job right or even if you say julian just leave all that shit at home and just buy yourself a Mars bar when you get to a shop i mean and uh, they, they did that they they, they did a test on the transcontinental race, you know, that, that 3,000 mile race across, across Europe. And they tested, and the riders who carried sacks of snacks took more time to complete than the riders who took no sacks of snacks and instead stopped at shops and bought Mars bars and Snickers and Crunchies and Milky Ways and all the other combinations of sugar that you can imagine and scoffed them as they were riding along. So you can take that piece of advice or not. It's entirely up for you. So I'm going to be thinking about which snacks to take. You can contribute to it by making a comment down below if you enjoy watching my videos. And even if you don't enjoy watching my videos, uh, please subscribe, like, share, Drive it up the YouTube algorithm poll and let's see what flutters because my videos raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom. And the more views that it gets, or well, all these videos get, the more money goes to help people who are less fortunate than ourselves. So thanks for watching and see you next time.